No. Rosa Gwamba Sojo is an Igbo man. He came from Anambra State. His father is an Igbo man. Do you have evidence to this, sir? My friend, it is he who should come out and say, no, he's not an Igbo man. Everybody knows that it's not a hidden fact. His father became the Obi of Vonicha. So let's put that aside. Zeke was also an Igbo man. The last president is an Igbo man. Three of the three presidents we have from the south, they are Igbos. They are from the southeast. Jonathan is south south. Jonathan, Jonathan Azikwe, the south south people be Azikwe. There are Igbos in, in the, the Igbo south speaking side. part of yes. the south south. Yes, the Igbo. Whether it's south south or not, it's still Igbo. Well, this is very controversial. Oh. All right, so from what this man has said, what can you conclude from what he has said? He is a chieftain of um, APC and also a Yoruba monarch. You know, now Obasanjo have come under direct criticism and attack from the Yoruba nation after he humiliated Oyo monarch, ordering them to stand up and sit down as if they were children. You know, so the video has gone viral and he has come under direct criticism. But the idea that Abbas Enjo is an Igbo man is not what is, in fact, I don't think is sellable because um, Abbas Enjo has ruled this country three times. When he was head of state in 1977, why didn't the idea come up that he's an Igbo man? Of course, you know, before this time out, did nobody ever allow the Igbo man to rule after the death of Iron Sea. Both the North and the, and the Southwest, they vowed that an Igbo man will never rule this country. So, how come the, after the death of um, uh, this military leader, um, Abbas Enjo took over from, I'm trying to rule Mutala Mohammed. How come after the death of Mutala Mohammed? They not, it was the not that brought Abbas Enjo into power. They brought him into power, and after that he handed over in 1979, and came back again in 2000, 1999, and ruled again. At, at least the information or the, um, the secret would have been out by then that he's an Igbo man. And of course, you know how they not. So this story does not find the light of the day. It's not true. It's not true because if it were to be true, they not would have known. The northerners would have known. And they would, there is no way they can. They would have allowed Abbas Senjo to rule. Being an Igbo man, they can never. That's why you see, even this Peter Obi that came out to contest election, there are people in the north. The northerners vowed that he can never rule this country. He will never be allowed to rule. They must rig the election. You know. So we all knew that this is what is going to happen. That is what played out. That is what is happening right now. You know. So but what do you guys think about what this man have said? Is it that he's trying to tarnish the image of Abbas Senjo? Just because Abbas Senjo humiliated or your monarch? Abbas Senjo himself is somebody who, who, who observed tradition and custom. Several videos have been seen of him prostrating before Oba. He has been seen prostrating several times. So him, ordering them to stand up and sit down, was it come so controversial, so surprised, and people were shocked. Is this about, is this, is it the same about St. Joe that observed tradition, prostrate before an ordinary monarch? Why is it, behaving? Is it you know, this kind of thing is not what somebody can, if you want to think about it, you have a deck. So that's what they are trying to grapple with. You know, but the, the only thing they cannot stomach is the insult that was given to, imagine, more than 100 monarchs were there in that meeting he ordered them to stand up and sit down you know so what do you guys think please i want you to just drop your comment below let me know what you think this is my tv god bless you